Hi, well, it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and how to, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to install your NVIDIA GPU graphics card drivers and also potentially rectify any faults without having to use DDU, which is normally what we would tend to do. So if you get any graphics card problems, normally we'd suggest go over to DDU, download DDU, run it, clear all the drivers out, and then reinstall the normal drivers, in which case it should be good to go. But actually, one of the good friends of the channel, Welly Bob, actually suggested using the clean method which is actually part of NVIDIA's driver setup. So, yeah, seemed like a good idea. We had a problem with one of the graphics cards here at Mike's Unboxing, where the NVIDIA GPU wasn't going into zero fan mode and seemed to be using an incredible amount of wattage, which, ironically, is the same problem that Welly Bob was having with his particular system as well. So I figured we'd give it a go, and uh, lo and behold, it worked, it did the trick, and it's something which I think a lot of us will overlook. So this is actually a really easy thing to do. It's just installing graphics card drivers. So if you've come here and you're expecting some miracle, it isn't. This is just another way of installing the drivers, but using the clean method, which does appear to do a pretty decent job and probably is almost as good as using DDU, especially if you're on a single family. So either NVIDIA cards or AMD cards. This is obviously towards NVIDIA cards. So we better get on and try it. So this is our Windows 11 desktop. Works same for Windows 10, not a problem at all. There's various ways you can update your drivers. So if you've got the NVIDIA app installed, you've got it down here on your taskbar, you can right click, choose NVIDIA app, go into drivers, and you'll see that there is an update available. If for some reason there isn't an update available and you're already on the latest one, then what you can do is head over to the NVIDIA website. So just go nvidia.com. At the top here, you've got the section for drivers. And you've got automatic driver updates or manual driver updates, whichever works for you. I'm actually going to do the manual version. So we'll go for GeForce because ours is a GeForce RTX card. And then it pops up and populates these. So these are the latest driver downloads for the different families of cards. So you've got the game ready driver, which is best for gamers and content creators. You've got the studio driver, which is best for professionals and creatives. Then you've got the RTX and Quadro drivers for RTX and Quadro cards, best for workstation users. So you can choose either of these for desktop cards, such as the RTX 4070, etc. I'm gonna go ahead and use the game ready driver. So click on download. It'll tell you the latest version. So this is 560.94, which was updated on the 20th of August, 2024. Suitable for Windows 10 and Windows 11 versions. So I'm gonna click on this one, download, and we'll save it to our Windows desktop. You can minimize the window whilst you're waiting, and we can close down all these things as well. As soon as it's finished downloading, the icon will appear, and there we go, so obviously in your download location. So what we want to do is just double click on this one, and user account control will pop up. NVIDIA package launcher, do you want to let it continue? Yes, we do. And it will ask you for the path, just leave that set as default, click OK. Then it's gonna unpack the driver files. If you've got an Intel CPU, this may crash. Okay, so now it's done the system check and we have to agree to the software license agreement. Feel free to read it if you want to. And now we've got either the option of express or custom. So we're gonna choose custom and then choose next. And this is the important bit here, perform a clean installation. So what this is gonna do is gonna remove your graphics driver, your HD audio driver, the GeForce experience, and also your PhysX system software it's gonna remove all that stuff. So we'll put a tick box here, and then we can click on next. I should mention, if you go back and choose the express option, you won't get the option for doing the clean install. So make sure you do the custom version. And again, click on perform a clean installation. When you're ready, click next. And you'll probably find whilst it's going through this, your screen is gonna go blank a couple of times. Uh, potentially the system may even ask to be rebooted. So do be prepared for that, make sure that any applications or any software you're using, you've saved anything which is uh, important. Ideally, close down as many apps as possible. And there we go, we've gone to a blank screen. So this is uninstalling the driver. And as you can see now, our resolution has changed dramatically as well. Don't worry, we can reset that when the driver is reinstalled, if it hasn't done it for itself. As you can see at the bottom there, it says removing previous version, removing graphics driver. And now it's preparing to install the new one. Just be patient and let it do its thing. And there we go, we got another blank screen and now the actual desktop resolution has gone back to what it should be. 
So there we go, the NVIDIA installer has finished. So we've got their GeForce Experience not installed, the graphics driver has been installed, the HD audio driver has been installed, and the physics software, that's fine because it says a newer or same version is available. So that's it, we're all done, we can click on close now. And that is it, we've now got our up-to-date graphics driver. If you're somebody who uses certain programs such as Adobe Premiere or perhaps things like OBS, Streamlabs, you may find you need to update that as well because they are somewhat linked to the graphics drivers. If you get any problems, just update your software. And as a final thing there, I just opened up hardware monitor just to make sure that our problem has gone away. So yeah, our GPU temperature is around about 36 degrees, which is about 10 degrees over ambient currently. And our GPU power is running around about seven or eight watts, which is uh, exactly where it should be under idle. Whereas previously, this was idling around about sort of 25, 30 watts, which is uh, unacceptable. And also the fans were running all the time. And as we can see currently now, the fans are in zero RPM mode. So that is absolutely perfect. So when you're done, if you want to, you can actually delete the driver you downloaded. The choice is entirely up to you. I'm going to get rid of it because uh, they do get updated very, very regularly. So there'll probably be a new one by the time I need another. So there you go, there is how to install your NVIDIA graphics card drivers and also how to do it with the clean option. So this is going to remove all the old junk and hopefully should fix any of your GPU problems. If for some reason this doesn't fix your GPU problems, you're very welcome to head over to our Discord and we can have a chat about it there and give you some other alternatives which may be beneficial. Links for that will be in the video description. I think that's going to wrap this video up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.